Hello, I am Nurul Ather, PMP, CPHIMS and RTR certified. And in this presentation, I am going to explain Digital Health Incentives Scheme, DHIS. So, I am going to explain how hospitals, diagnostic or lab facilities or digital solution companies can earn these incentives. So, let us start. First, we will see Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission. What is Digital Mission? The Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission ABDM, aims to develop the backbone necessary to support the integrated digital health infrastructure of the country. Country means India. It will bridge the existing gap amongst different stakeholders of healthcare ecosystem through digital highways. The National Health Authority NHA, is responsible for implementation of Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission ABDM which aims to create a digital health ecosystem for the country. Now see what is meaning of digital ecosystem. A digital ecosystem is a group of interconnected information technology resources that can function as a unit. Digital ecosystems are made up of suppliers, customers, trading partners, applications, third-party data, service providers and all respective technologies. Now we'll see a digital health ecosystem. A digital Ecosystem connects diverse data, resources, applications, devices and technologies, enabling them to work seamlessly together. It offers society new ways to organize and deliver healthcare and most importantly, new ways to improve patients' outcome and overall population health. Digital health ecosystem, as I explained earlier, a digital ecosystem connects diverse data resources application, devices and technologies, enabling them to work seamlessly together. It offers society a new ways to organize and deliver health care and most importantly new ways to improve patient outcomes and overall population health. Now see what is Digital Health Incentive Scheme DHIS, for ABTM adoption. To boost the adoption of digital and interoperable health records targeting untapped stakeholders, segments, sector. This initiative would provide the right incentives to the provider of digital health solutions such as hospital, health management information system, HMIS or laboratory management information system, LMIS, to make available the right software at an affordable cost. Now see financial incentives. Incentives would be provided to the following players in the ecosystem. Health facilities having 10 or more than 10 beds as provided in the health facility registry. Okay, remember, beds should be more than 10. If 9 or 6, they are not eligible. Laboratory Radiology Diagnostic Center or by whatever name called. Entities providing ABDM enabled digital solutions. So healthcare facility and we'll see base level criteria. Hospitals base level criteria is 50 transactions per bed per, per month and diagnostic facilities lab 500 transactions per month. This is the base level criteria. Transactions should be more than this then only those facility will be able to get incentives. Incentive to health facility will be provided based on the number of transactions per bed per month carried out by them while for lab the basis will be number of transactions done by them per month. Benefits will be provided to the health facilities only for transactions done by them above the base level of transaction. For example, only the transaction above the threshold. For ABHA link transaction done by facilities not eligible for direct incentives like clinics, small hospitals, health lockers, teleconsultation platform, etc. Incentives will be provided to digital solution companies to avail these facilities, each such clinic, small hospital, health locker, teleconsultation facilities would need to do more than 200 transactions per month. Digital solution companies, DSCS, are being provided a cost incentivization for helping smaller clinics, small hospitals 
teleconsultation platform health locker it is suited support these facilities achieve digital health adoption and not create a digital divide it is expected that benefit provided to the dscs will help reduce the cost or will be further transferred to the concerned health facilities to cover their cost of digitization the incentives rate for calculation of benefits are will criteria and incentives incentives for eligible healthcare facilities up to base level no incentives okay above base level incentives will be paid for additional transaction above the base level for hospital this rupees 20 per additional transaction above the base level okay lab and diagnostic facilities rupees 15 per additional transaction above the base level for every insurance claim transaction link with abha address filled by hospital using fire format through scx scx stand for health claim exchange incentives will be this 500 per claim or 10% of the claim amount whichever is lower cost incentives for digital solution hmis and lmis companies for every transaction by hospital lab using their software and receiving incentives under this scheme incentive will be 25% of the corresponding incentive am amount received by the eligible facilities for every transaction by hospital lab using their software and receiving incentives under this scheme 25% of the corresponding incentive amount received by the eligible facilities for other transaction including by health locker teleconsultation platform small clinic etc provided a transaction are more than 200 per month they will get incentives will be rupees 5 per transaction let's try to understand using this illustration a 20 bedded hospital does 1300 transaction per month the base level of the transaction is 1000 50 transaction per bed multiplied by 200 beds as we know base level for hospital is 50 transaction per bed per month so it is eligible for incentive of rupees 6000 20 rupees is for 300 transaction above the base level of 1000 the digital solution companies is eligible for an incentive of rupees 1500 25 percent of the incentives received by the hospital now let's see the second illustration a single doctor clinic does not have any bed does 300 transaction per month the base level is 200 transaction the digital solution is eligible for an incentive of rupees 1500 the small clinic or hospital is not eligible for any incentives DSCS digital solution companies which uh, complete NABH national accreditation board for hospitals and healthcare providers slash QCI quality of council of india or any other similar certification specified by national health authority from time to time shall be eligible for 20% extra incentives including the maximum incentive cap only facilities using the NABH certified version of the concerned HMIS will be provided this additional benefit now we'll see eligibility criteria the benefit under this scheme will be applicable for all public and private sector healthcare facilities all hospitals with facilities having minimum 10 beds will be eligible for this incentivization scheme maximum number of beds during a month is as mentioned in the hfr registration would be considered for calculation of these incentives minimum 50 transaction per bed per month would be required by each and each such facilities to become eligible for the incentives for lab minimum 500 transaction per month would be required to become eligible for this incentive program for digital solution companies to become eligible for this incentive scheme minimum 10 healthcare facilities should be generating transaction in monthly cycle furthermore for availing incentives by digital solution companies in respect of deploying their software 
at facility is not eligible for direct incentives clinic small hospitals health locker teleconsultation platform etc each clinic small hospital healthcare locker teleconsultation platform would need to do more than 200 transactions per month important points regarding incentivization scheme the scheme will come into effect from the date it notified by the national health authority only the transaction made after this date by the health facilities will be considered for the calculation of financial incentives as mentioned under this scheme incentives would be calculated for each calendar month the scheme is applicable to healthcare facilities having operations in india and transactions done in india this will include international teleconsultation if the consulting doctor or one of the consulting doctor is in India irrespective of location of others on the group consultation. Transactions or transactions mean creation of any ABHA slash ABHA address linked health record by healthcare facility or health locker including teleconsultation, lab report, etc. In HIE slash CM also any transaction booked and availed through UHI will also be considered a valid transaction for the purpose of this incentive scheme. Health facility or facility or facilities shall mean a health facility so registered in health facility registry for the purpose of incentives. Each physical facility shall be treated separately irrespective of being part of single chain owner corporate body if so defined in the, in the health facility registry. Each transaction should be done on the system integrated with ABDM ecosystem till M3 stage. For example, after it starts playing the role of health information user or HIU in ABDM. Capping the incentives. To ensure fair use of scheme and prevent any situation of monopoly, following measures will be in place. Maximum incentive allowable under the scheme to any health facility or digital solution company shall be restricted to rupees 400 crore during the course of current incentive scheme. In the case of any further extension of the time or budget of the scheme, decisions regarding this capping amount may be revised. Transactions done by virtual facilities created in health facility registry will not be considered for calculation of incentive under this scheme. For public sector healthcare facilities, the incentives for facilities shall be added to the fund under Rogi Kalyan, Samiti or any similar pool of the facility. Such incentives may be utilized in a manner deemed fit by the facility. Digital solution companies DSCS, would be entities with software having ABM certified health information provider HIP and health information user HIU functionality. The estimated initial financial outlay of the scheme is rupees 50 crore. NHA will continuously monitor and evaluate the effectiveness of the scheme and make suitable changes about its continuation, modification, budget or otherwise and when required. These incentives will remain in place for the following time period unless discontinued. Q4 of following year 2022 to 23, Rs. 25 crore subject to availability of fund. Q1 of following year 2023 to 2024 until funds are available, balance of Rs. 50 crore subject to availability of funds. The healthcare facility will have to display ABDM IEC material provided by NHA or state governments prominently at their entrance or in their lobby. NHA shall set up mechanism to capture different type of transaction stakeholder wise and report the same on a publicly available benefits dashboard. Bank details of all eligible beneficiaries would be captured and payments will be made to those bank accounts. I hope you would have found this information useful. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.